Hello and welcome back. This is Candace from Candoodle and today I'm hopping along with Team Tiny for our Team Tiny Treats Hop. I'll be making this clean and simple Copic colored card, so let's get started. So first up, I have my Misty out and I'm going to go ahead and put in my piece of cardstock, which is three and a half by eight and a half, because I'm going to fold this to be three and a half by four and a quarter as the final size of my card. And I'm going to get out my Honeybee Stamps piece of cake stamp set. This is one I've wanted to use for a long time and I figured this was the perfect theme to use it. I'm getting out the three pieces I'm going to use to make a little cupcake on a stand and I'm just fiddling to make sure that I have those in the place that I want them. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to stamp them one at a time. This you can kind of build a scene without actually masking, which is awesome. So I'm coming in and stamping each of them twice with my Gina K Designs Black Amalgam Ink because we are going to be Copic coloring these. And these stamps are super easy to line up and I didn't do any masking to create this. And they have different toppers for the cupcakes and they have a cake you can put on the stand. So I think it's a really, really cute set. So I'm going to come in and do some Copic coloring. For my base, I wanted it to look kind of shiny and metallic. So I'm using my C Copic markers and I came in with my lightest color, which is a C0. And then because I was a little nervous to put my darkest color in right away, I started with the C3. And then once I was happy with where my shadows were, I came in with a C5 and then blended back out from C3 to C0. And that's kind of how I've been doing my coloring lately. I put down my lightest color to create a base and then go darkest back out to lightest. And as you can see, I'm kind of making the light hit on that left hand side. Um, and that's why there's that deeper color towards the center. So I tried to make it look like spherical. And then once I was happy with that, I colored the bottom with some darker C colors um, just to give it a little bit of interest. Once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and do the top. I wanted this to be a chocolate cupcake, so I came in with several of my E colors. And I will admit I got a little heavy handed, um, but for the most part, I tried to leave light spots where I could to give it like that frosting sort of look. While I am coloring, I'll tell you a bit more about the hop. Team Tiny is a group of crafty YouTubers who each have a small channel. We each have under a thousand subscribers, so we like to come together once or twice a month to hop along, find new crafty friends, and grow our channels. This is a hashtag driven hop, which means all you have to do is click on the hashtag in my title or description, and it'll generate a playlist of everybody along the hop. So make sure to check that out and I will get back to the card. So I've come in and colored my little cupcake top just with some peachy colors, and then I'm coming in with my BGs to do the cupcake wrapper, and I'm focusing those shadows towards the right side and the highlights towards the left. And again, I'm trying very hard not to be heavy handed. Once I'm done all my coloring, I'm coming in with my Sakura Jelly Roll, and this is a 0.8, so it's a little bit bigger in size. And as you can see, I'm scribbling um, my thumb when it's having trouble uh, getting it to run. I find that that helps because the heat uh, can sometimes help it to run a little bit more smoothly. And I'm just going in and reinforcing all of those highlights with those bright white lines, which I think adds a lot of interest. So then once that's done, I'm going to come in and stamp my sentiment. I'm using this Mama Elephant Big News stamp set and just trying out some of the sentiments until I found one I was happy with. I decided to go with Happy Birthday. And then I'm going to take my tracing paper and stamp that down to make sure I'm happy with how it's looking before I stamp it on the final card after I've already put in this much work. Next, I'm going to score and fold my card, but before I do that, I just take an eraser and erase that little pencil line I made for myself to ensure that my cupcake was on the front of the card and didn't go over the top. I'm going to score along the four and a quarter mark and then come in with my bone folder. And then last but not least, I'm going to add some bling and that is the final card. I hope you enjoyed today's quick and simple Copic colored card. Don't forget to click on the hashtag and check out everybody else along the hop. I would really appreciate if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, you can find me over on Instagram at Candoodle Creations. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye!